I just want to share with you something that I came across on YouTube last night that kind of disturbed me and it kind of opened my eyes to another thing, another problem with the buildings called churches. It's like there's there's never enough, right? There's <laughs> there's always more and more problems and reasons why people should stay away from these buildings called churches. Um, but this is of the subject of child baptism. Um, see here a guy, a hireling, baptizing, baptizing two of his children. Uh, I don't know their ages, but they look really young. And, you know, they could possibly, they're probably under the age of accountability still. Um, you know, he goes to say that they wanted to make sure that these these children knew what baptism was, so they took classes or whatever. Well, children are very easily uh, misled or manipulated. You know, uh, they they believe whatever they're told, pretty much. They they go along with whatever, you know. Um, just because a child might say that they're saved or whatever, that doesn't mean they really fully understand it. And speaking from my own experience, I was baptized twice because I went to a church building, building called a church, you know, when I was a child and when I was a teen. And I'd say probably when I was 12 or 13 or so, I was baptized. And I really, I wasn't saved then, and I had no idea really what I was doing. I thought that I did. Um, so, this is just another thing of buildings called churches creating false, false converts. You know, they, they lead them in a sinner's prayer, and then, you know, they baptize, you know, people right away, children. Um... There's no example in the scripture of, of child baptized, a child being baptized at all. You know, of course, most of these Protestant buildings called churches, they're against infant baptism, because that's not in the scripture, but neither is child baptism. And some people might not agree, you know, and people have differing opinions on it. You know, when, sh when is it okay for someone to be baptized? You know, should they wait until they're like 14 or 15? Should they wait until they're like 18 or even 20? 20 is like the latest that I've seen. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know. From my personal experience being baptized, you know, around 13 and not understanding, maybe maybe they should wait until they're 18 or 20. I don't know. Uh, I think it's kind of a good discussion. And, I mean, I understand that some people might have a, an understanding at a younger age. Uh, I don't know how old these children are, but they just, they really do look really young to me. They look way too young to be baptized, and this is just, like, manipulation. Uh, so, I'll just watch the video, play it, and then have maybe some other comments. And it's just really short, but... Get nervous. 
sometimes when you baptize the people, especially your own kids, amen? <laughs> My wife's over here on the side going, Barry. <laughs> You know, I wonder, like, if they're his own kids and he thought it was perfectly fine to baptize them, you know, why, uh, you know, why didn't he baptize them sooner? I mean, uh, which, I mean, I don't agree with. I don't think his children should be baptized. But I'm just saying, you know, this is another problem with these buildings called churches. You know, baptism does not need to be in front of a bunch of people. It doesn't need to be in a building called a church. You know, he could have easily done it at home in a bathtub or he could have just found water somewhere. I mean, if I ever have the opportunity to lead someone to the Lord and they ask me about baptism, or just if anyone asks me about baptism, they want to be baptized, you know, I just want to say, let's do it. Let's find the water, and let's just get you baptized and get it over with. You know, let's look at here at Acts 8. At Acts 8.36, And as they went on their way, they came into a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water, what doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest in... With all thine heart thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. So there right away a guy just gets baptized, like right off the bat. You know, he, he didn't say, well, you know, let's wait until the Sunday service and, you know, we can make a big deal of it then. No, you know, he just got baptized, dunked in water, it's over with. Okay. Um, but this is the mentality of these building calls churches. They completely pervert, you know, what baptism is. It's supposed to be some big, uh, some big show. You know, they turn everything into entertainment. You know, and it's used to draw in more people. You know, let all your family, let all your friends know that you're getting baptized so they can all come. You know completely disgusting. Like I said, there's no examples of child baptism in the scripture. Um, you know, giving them classes and stuff doesn't confirm anything that they're saved or that they understand what's going on. You know, if they if they're truly if they get saved in the future, then they'll probably be rebaptized. They'll probably want to be rebaptized. This is and this is a hireling, I don't know his name, but it's Texas Lighthouse uh, Baptist Church in Texas. But, uh, this is disturbing. So I'd like to hear some other opinions on child baptism. When's too young? Uh, I certainly think this is a problem. So thanks for watching, God bless. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.